Hey, happy Wednesday, church people, friends of church people, family, whoever's watching this. Hope your day is going well and hope you guys are staying safe. Um, just hopping on with our midweek devotional thought for tonight. Um, recently, my wife and I have been doing something that we thought, man, that's just not us. We won't. We just never do that, but <laughs> we have found ourselves in front of the TV at about 6.30 our time um, because there's this one show that has been on for years and years, and we've seen it every now and then, uh, but it just started its 38th year, and so every weekday for however many years, um, this show has been on and that sparked a thought uh, for tonight and, and it, it'll, it'll help us get ready for Sunday too. Uh, we, we sometimes lose the desire to do the same things over and over, but when we do the right things over and over daily, regularly, uh, engaging with the Holy Spirit, listening to God's voice, um, being obedient to Jesus, uh, then that's what produces uh, the joy and the, the strength and the power. Uh, God provides all that, but it's in that connection with Him. It, it, he provides the ability to, to go for the long haul because um, we know that faith is like life. It's not a sprint. It is a marathon. And so <laughs> we started watching Wheel of Fortune, and we are having so much fun with that, trying to uh, guess the puzzle before the other person and, you know, celebrating when someone uh, gets a lot of letters and, uh, you know, feeling the, uh, the agony of defeat when they have banked some money but hit that bankrupt uh, piece of the wheel. Uh, but seeing Pat Sajak and Vanna White do this for uh, almost as long as I've been alive. For 38 years, uh, they've been doing this day after day after day, and they they have gone in the same direction. So as as far as the the success of the the show, I'm pretty sure that's a, a Merv Griffin creation. But you know, to last that long in in that business, that's a you're doing something right, and it's doing this the the right things consistently. And so my my challenge to us tonight is to think about what are the right things that we can do uh, daily as followers of Jesus. And I just have one verse for us to think about tonight, and that's Luke chapter 9, verse 23. And this is Jesus teaching, and he says this, Then if any of you wants to be my followers, you must give up your own way, take up your cross daily, and follow me. That's, that's the one thing that Jesus asks us to do. That's that's the the small thing. That's the day after day. That's the uh, you know, eat, sleep, obey, repeat. You know, kind of thing uh, that Jesus calls us to. Do. He he says to give up our own way. That means I'm giving up what what I want to do, what I think feels good, and what I wish would happen, such as um, <laughs> wishing revenge on someone or harm to someone who cut me off in traffic or, uh, you know, in any kind of situation like that where we, we just want our own way. This doesn't mean we can't have any desires. It doesn't mean we can't have any preferences. It just means we, we lay down our will and yield fully to God. That, that's what the, the daily surrender to Jesus is, that we... We, we don't think, you know, what do I want first? We think, what, what does Jesus want me to do first? And this takes practice, uh, which is why I think Jesus said we have to do it every day. Uh, now, why would he say you have to take up your, your cross daily? Well, that's, again, that, that goes with giving up our own way and, and picking up God's way. When Jesus picked up the cross, he, he put down his own will. Even though he asked Jesus, he, even though Jesus asked the Father, you know, if it's okay with you, can this, can this cut be passed from me? Um, 
but no matter what, he prayed, he'll pray in the garden later, you know, not my will, but yours be done. And, and that's what Jesus is saying. You know, I've got I've, my desire to ultimately rule over my life and my world uh, has to die uh, on, uh, on the cross. It has, to, it has to be crucified with Jesus that we become a, a people that are shaped by the cross. And so I'd love to hear those things that help you stay engaged every day. Uh, what are the practices that, that you participate in to help you stay connected to Jesus, to listening to the voice of the Spirit? Um, I'd love to see those in comments, or if you want to text me, you can. My number is 931-374-5136. Um, and I would just love to hear from you what, what keeps you uh, connected. What's that daily thing? Um, you know, because we, we want to we last in the faith. We, we don't want uh, things, in, you know, we all have bumps in the road. There, there's, faith doesn't mean you never have difficulties, it, but it means you have the, the power and the ability to, uh, to keep moving forward and keep going. So I'm looking for those daily things that you do to stay engaged uh, with Jesus and I want to encourage you to keep doing those things and if there's something that is hindering you from that then listen to the Lord and uh, lay down your way and pick up God's way and he'll show you how to do that he's so faithful to to lead us and to guide us and and keep pointing things out uh, not just so we're looking back at a finger but he, he really wants to help us grow and one of the things that he uses to do that is uh, just posing the question uh, whenever we have a decision to make is, you know, what, what would Jesus have me do in this situation? What is, what is the loving Christ-like uh, act that I need to do here? What's the, most, what's the most obedient to Jesus I can be uh, right now? So tonight's super short, and I uh, hope, hope that's okay with you. Um, you don't really get to have a say in it, so <laughs> uh, but it, it is going to tie in with Sunday morning's uh, message, I believe, because it's, it's about uh, doing something daily and um, why, why God calls us to that, to that, daily, that daily trust. So uh, praying for you. We have an awesome team of volunteers. Our, our church building is cleaned every week. Uh, so you don't have to worry about germs. It's as, it's as clean as we can make it. Uh, you know, seats are sprayed with all the cleaning stuff. Every, surfaces are wiped down. Restrooms are cleaned. Um, just want to say again, if you haven't been in a while, we'd love to have you come back if you're ready for that. Uh, and we're excited to, uh, to be with you however we can, either online or in person this weekend. Hope to see you then.